I'm Carl from Apt, and this is the Nano 81 series 4K LED TV from LG. For anyone watching this video on YouTube, I'll put a link to our current price down in the description below. The 81 series is the second step up in their Nano cell lineup, and it's available in two sizes, 55 and 65 inches. It's got a nice design with a thin bezel surrounding the screen and a center mounted pedestal that raises it just enough to put a soundbar below without blocking the picture. The connections are all around back and those include four HDMIs, three USBs, an analog audio video input, RS-232C, optical audio out, an ethernet hookup and an antenna input. In addition, you also get Bluetooth and Wi-Fi for wireless connections. Then there's LG's fantastic operating system with WebOS. Pressing the home button on the remote will bring up a list of your favorite apps to choose from down at the bottom of the screen, and it's easy to navigate through them with the provided Magic Remote. You're also going to find other options down there. One of my favorites is the Sports Alert function. This is new for 2020, and it gives you real-time updates on all of your favorite teams, no matter what else you might be watching. The Nano 81 is also compatible with Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, and Apple AirPlay 2, so it'll work with all the most popular smart systems out there. Then you have the LG dashboard, which gives you kind of a consolidated list of all your connected devices. Sound on the Nano 81 is pretty much what you'd expect on a newer TV. There's two channels with 20 total watts of power. It's okay for watching shows or the news, but like almost every other new TV, you'll have a much better overall experience by adding a sound bar, especially if you're gonna be using this to watch a lot of movies. I'll put a link to a good one to match this TV down in the description. As far as the picture goes, this one's good for its price point. It's a 60 Hz IPS panel that's edge lit with local dimming. And with it being a nano cell TV, you get nice color depth and accuracy. And because it's an IPS panel, you're also going to get wide viewing angles. So anyone sitting off to the side will still be able to enjoy a good picture just like those sitting right in the middle. It can display HDR content in the form of HDR10 and HLG. And it's going to be a decent TV for gaming on with its low input lag times, auto low latency mode, and HGIG compatibility. And the screen handles light reflections pretty well too, but to get the best overall performance out of the Nano 81, you'll want to use it in a, a moderately lit room. This is going to be a good choice for someone looking for a TV that has a wider viewing angle and good color depth and accuracy for under $900. If you still have questions on the Nano 81, don't forget, you can always call, email, or chat with one of our experts online or right here at our store. We're always happy to help. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.